Is your fire hydrant out of order and does the local fire department even know? The two investigators expose a system in crisis. The big picture is we need to fix the system. To investigator Dave Savini reports on a serious safety threat. There's a hidden danger facing thousands of residents throughout our area. I'm Dave Savini. Find out what our two investigators uncovered about your local fire hydrant. That story coming up. A fire hydrant without enough water can be a deadly problem, and as our two investigators have found, that problem is widespread in our area. Well, tonight, two investigator Dave Savini exposes more than 100,000 fire hydrants that are not being tested, maintained, or simply are out of order. This is a case of government agencies not policing themselves and not keeping track of the one thing fire departments rely on most, water. Emergency hydrant repairs have already begun in Maywood. But that's not enough to fight a fire. No. In Aurora, there are new hydrants and a new water main. In both communities, the quick fixes come after tough questions by our two investigators. I think it's tremendous that it's being brought to public light. In an unprecedented in-depth examination, our two investigators gathered three years of fire hydrant testing records from 70 local cities, towns, and villages. We created a database which reveals a hydrant system in crisis. We uncovered a staggering number. One in three fire hydrants fail to meet the recommended standards set by the National Fire Protection Association. That's it? That's it. There's no more water pressure? They got a water main problem. I do worry, because what if we have a fire? Another safety concern, the same hydrants are failing yearly. This fire hydrant has a broken stem, which means it doesn't work. It's been this way for years, and it's right across the street from a school in Maywood. And in front of two Schiller Park schools, we found hydrants that have repeatedly failed to meet the standard with barely any pressure. Hopefully this is going to spark what's needed to get these systems fixed. Dan Hermes is vice president of the Illinois Fire Chiefs Association. The big picture is we need to fix the system. Our database examined 151,894 hydrants and found only 17% of them were ever fully tested. In Chicago, less than 1% of its hydrants were given a pressure test, and some communities don't test at all. We knew that there was problems, but, but the magnitude was unknown. Some towns deal with bad hydrants or poor water pressure by having contingency plans for bringing in more water. My garden hose <laughs> is probably better. In front of Stephen Blazing's Forest Park home, the hydrant barely registers any pressure. It's the same here at this school. This is what a hydrant with water pressure above the standard should look like. But this is a low pressure hydrant and it's right in front of the fire station. Forest Park officials say pressure is low because the pipes are old. We know we've got low flows. Do I think anybody's at risk? No, absolutely not. Because we have a mechanism in place to address those issues should an incident occur. I'm surprised and I'm kind of shocked. Finally, there are communities like Aurora which test hydrants yearly, but poor record keeping makes it difficult to determine how long bad hydrants are left broken, including this one in front of Aiden Stevens' home. I think it's a very serious matter. It's personal property and the lives of people more than anything else could be in jeopardy. All of the departments with low hydrant pressure say they have backup plans for getting more water to handle fires. Chicago officials say they have an elaborate monitoring system and pumping stations to ensure adequate water pressure. Aurora officials say all hydrants have been fixed. Dave Savini, CBS 2 News. And tomorrow in the Aurora Beacon News, Dave Savini will have a special report focused on hydrants in that okay, community. Okay, state, state health officials are trying to determine why the...